Hey guys, this is Jay Snow with Salt Stone. I'm going to be playing some salty games for you guys where we're going to be showing pretty much just playing arenas and seeing what plays we can make and all that good stuff. So let's go choose a hero. So we can pick the big ass druids, which are annoying resto druids in World of Warcraft. Goddamn overpowered druids. Or we can pick between the locks so we can go for some Zulak quick rush deck. Or hunters for hunting down decks. So I think for this round I'm going to go with the warlock. With no, the druid. You are and they are OP. And hopefully less salt will be given to me because I picked that choice. So we have Arjur, Drake, Stamp, and Kodo. I'm going to go with this nice purpley dragon. Nice purpley badass dragon. Next I'm gonna go with Fen Creeper because of that good defense. Oh, we have the ultimate value of Wisp, which would unleash some salty damage on the opponent, but I don't think I'm gonna pick that because it's pretty terrible in the Venus. Uh next we can either do Claw, Starfire, or Murloc Tide Hunter. I'm gonna go with Murloc Tide Hunter, because it adds more minions to the board. Shit's all about minion board control. Frost Wolf Warlord, just to add some extra stuff. Ooh, a Frost Elemental Healing Touch, or a Mark of the Wild. Which one has the most salt? Well, I would think the Frost Elemental is... Well, actually, I was thinking it could be made of salt, but that's impossible because that would just melt the elemental. Then it would just be called Melt Elemental. It would be like a zero card with zero attack, one defense, or something like that. Making up cards on the fly. Anyways... Let's go with the Mark of the Wild the buff. Uh, oh, we can go for another Murloc Tidehunter. I'm going to go with Morgan Infiltrator, because that's the great one-drop card for arenas. Uh, next one, Dark Iron Dwarf. Definitely putting the dwarves in my hand. Ooh, now we have a choice between an Innervate and another Worgen Infiltrator. I'm going to go with Innervate. And, ah, oh, we get some epics. All right. So we got the ancient of ancient ancient of lore. We got the hobo goblin. The hobo goblin sounds like a fun thing to play, but I don't think this would work, work with my deck in any way, shape, or form. Then we got doomsayer, which just blows up everybody's minions. So I think if we want the most salt in arena, I think we're gonna go with doomsayer. That's probably the worst choice, but that would bring on the salt. Next we have Druid of the Claw, Power of the Wild, or Soul of the Forest. I'm going to go with Druid of the Claw. Uh, now we have Savage Roar, Soul of the Forest, and Power of the Wild. This looks quite familiar. Uh, I guess I'm going to go with Power of the Wild. Next we have the Forest Tank Max, Giblin Stalker, or Bloodsail Raider. I guess I'm going to go with the Giblin Stalker. And our Rares. Alright, so Rares we have... A remove one durability from opponent's weapon. We have Matter Bomber. <laughs> There's no way in hell. I know this is supposed to be all about the salt and the randomness and both plays, but Matter Bomber just drives me absolutely insane. So I'm not even going to touch that card. So I'm going to have to go with Twilight Drake. Uh, next we have Starfall, Storm by Commander. I'm just going to go with Starfall, even though I've seen that like a thousand times. Ooh, we got Mark of Nature. That's a pretty nice one. So I'll add that. Now we have uh, Wrath. Yeah, why not? At least that Wrath. Now we have Puddle Stomper, Voodoo Doctor, or Direwolf Alpha. I'm gonna go with the Direwolf Alpha. Uh, here, I'm gonna go with Lord of the Arena. As we need more. And ooh, some more rares. So we got the Light Warden, who loves to use the light for the light. Gaztan Auctioneer. Ooh. I don't think really works with this deck. I mean, I do have a couple of spells. Yeah, about a couple of spells, but not really. And these are some pretty bad arena choices. <sighs> it's just like, all right, we're going to start this, uh, start getting salty before the game even starts. It's like these terrible choices for this deck I'm trying to make. I guess I'm going to have to go with the Ancient Mage for the spell damage plus one. And oh, look at that. Starfire again. But well, we're going to go with Stranglethorn Tiger to rip some faces. Uh, now we have Swipe, which is AoE Clear, which could be pretty good. Or Razor Friend Hunter. I think I'm going to go with Swipe. 
Next we have Spectral Spectral Knight. So let's look at my two drops. I got plenty of two. So yeah, let's add another five drop. Why the hell not? Then we have Acidic Swamp Ooze to destroy those minions. But actually, I'm gonna go with Iron Beak Owl to silence any big things. And oh, we got epics again. And what the hell is this? Dark Whispers, choose one. Summon five Wisp or give a minion plus five, plus five, and taunt. You know what? I'm gonna go with Molten Giant. Just so they don't expect that. And we have Silverhand Knight, Mad Bomber. Uh, this is actually two pretty good cards in Arena. Uh, which one to pick? Um, let's see. I mean, I got plenty of two drops. I also have plenty of five drops. Actually, got more two drops than five, so I guess I'm gonna go with Silverhand Knight. Now we have Poison Seeds, Cult Master, so I guess Cult Master, so we get some draw power. Uh, another swipe, because why the hell not. Uh, Dancing Swords, Androids, Robo Cub. That's actually pretty nice. Dancing Swords is also pretty cool, too. I'm gonna go with Dancing Swords. And oh shit, we get to choose a legendary. And out of all these, I think we're gonna go with Trizor as it summons another minion if it gets cast a spell on it, so. Yeah, this deck is looking nice and good. Alright, so let's get this play button. Let's play some damn cards. Alright, we got some damn Shaman versus Druid action. So let's see what we can go with. So I'm going to get rid of the Ancient Mage and Molten Giant. Don't need any of those so I can unleash Wrath on this guy. And we start off with Dancing Swords and Iron Beak Owl. So not too bad. And we happen to draw into Molten Giant. Uh, <laughs> just like, oh, okay, it's like, I put you back in the deck for a reason, not, not to see you again. Even though it would be pretty funny, just having like a bunch of Molten Giants in one deck, that would be pretty awesome. So this guy is actually going to coin in for Zapomatic, well it looks like that robotic piece of crap has got to go. So, gonna actually Wrath for 3 damage, and just get rid of that little guy. Yes, yes. Your screams of death sound nice. Next card is playing Micro Machines, so this is some kind of robotic shaman deck. Just gonna get robots all over the place. Well, it looks like to counter this, I'm gonna have to use Alan Iron Big Owl. Just to silence that minion and make him a uh, one two. So we have to counter these things, so let's see what else he's gonna play. So next he has Tinker Town Technician. So he gets plus one and a spare part, alright, that's not a bad play, not a bad play, dude. I mean, I will c come at you with my dancing swords, even Don't though giving go. shaman draw power is probably not a great idea. <laughs> probably not the greatest idea at all. Alright, so at least they're gonna trade, he's gonna draw. And what special card will he play next? Oh, spider tank. Damn, how did this guy draft every mechanic? This guy has like drafted every mechanical card in the game. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get rid of that and swipe. Not gonna let that shaman have any minions. No minions for you. No. No minions for Thrall. <laughs> and alright, Dark Iron Dwarf. So let's see what we can go with. So. I'm just going to use that and attack him directly and then I'm going to let him play some more cards, hopefully play something nice and juicy and then we'll level on salt with some doomsayer. Alright, perfect. So I'm probably going to, I'm going to take a crap load of damage, ah and a coin too. Alright, now time to lay it down with some doomsayer, let's go. I summon Doomsayer! Alright, Doomsayer, make quick work of this. Rain down the holy hellfires of salt. Let thou shot, thou thrall be salty. Once thou rune, uh, Doomsayer destroys everyone, unless he gets destroyed himself. Crap. <laughs> Alright, unfortunately, that was not the level of salt that I was looking for. And now we'll summon a legendary, Trog. 
This game jumped to make me all salty, man. Damn it. I just wanted to use the Doomsayer, but nope. So we're gonna use the Legendary. What is he gonna do? Is that, that that's the frog, I swear. It better not be the frog. Oh, This is definitely GG. Uh, I play you. And I play you. And ah, oh, crap, just summoned another one. I'm gonna coin that and I'm to hit that thing. Oh, God. Why? What is this madness? Oh, this is horrendous. Oh no, what is that? Is that the frog? Please don't be the frog. Level salt will be pretty damn high. I he definitely has a count. He has like some kind of fucking... Oh my god. It loses the taunt. He overloads. On the thing and... Lightning bolt? Are you fucking me? How many more lightning bolts could he possibly have? Oh, jeez. That was salty. That was salty. Oh, man, that was horrible. 